Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. As you could see that before, I also had a video which I uh, shared about my experience to get the tourist visa to UK. Today, I'm gonna share with you about the spouse visa to UK in generally information. Uh, I will not speak in detail about it because I think that it's a little bit long today to talk in common about this first. I hope that if any of you is preparing for this spa visa to UK or you would do it in the short term, you could uh, reference my information or even if you don't do that, I hope that you could know more a little bit about the spouse visa to UK. Okay, so I will start it now. The first one is what is the spouse visa? Maybe a lot of you already know about this, but I just remember when I started to do it and at that time I did not have any idea about what kind of the visa I will do. So the spouse visa is just like a UK marriage visa. It means that you marry with a UK citizen who is like settled in the UK and it means that they will sponsor for you to immigrate to the UK. So this is reason why in the application form when you uh, applied for this it have like tied a visa and then that time I remember it should be like the settlement visa. The second one is how long the spouse visa lasts. So I think at the first when I did it I got the visa valid for 33 months. It means 2.5 years and after 2.5 years maybe you have to extend this or apply this again for next 2.5 years. And the third one is how long does the application take? Like how long you could get the visa after you submit for this. So I know that the standard form is like 60 working days even the standard form is like city of working days but I think if you have any issues and then they will inform for you later because I remember at that time we just have two weeks left and they just sent the email to me and they say that we were lacking for the appendix of the application form we remember that we already sent the document to them but then we don't know why we're lacking like this and then at that time we have 10 days to provide them soon this and then we try to send it soon. They also send them emails again to say that if the visa take longer then they will inform to us but they will try to process it between the standard time and then it is lucky because at the end we still got the visa during the standard time. The fourth one is if you can't work on a spouse visa and yes it is eligible to work or study in UK during the validation of the visa but it does not have the public fund. Example if you don't work and you could not take the allowance from the government something like this uh, but then uh, I see that about the education they will have the math or English course and which is free and then we could take the cost with free and don't have to pay for that. That one is nearly like the standard requirement for all the UK citizens after they finish the secondary school or they need to come to work. I am sure that if you find about like spouse visa requirement, it will have a lot of the information and some of this is like you need to be 18 years old or over or is it need to be like already meet each other or is it legally married? Wait to perform the arranged marriage aid. So some of the other requirement is nearly about you have to prove the real relationship with a partner. But the second one I want to speak about in the requirement is about finance. It means that the sponsor must earn more than eighteen point six thousand pounds per year or having enough savings to be able to sponsor you. And the next one is about the accommodation. The sponsor have to provide any details or address about the accommodation to show that this will be the place they will live together in UK. So I'm nearly finished this now and the last one I want to speak about is English and yeah you have to speak English. Uh, this is reason why they will uh, required for a certificate of English and this is the IELTS Life Skill English maybe level A1 uh, I remember you could have level B1 maybe it is higher but then 
uh, for the first time you just need the level A1 is 5. I think that it is all of the general information for the spout visa to UK and I may do another video about what kind of document I did prepare for my visa. I hope all of my information on the video is useful and could help you. Please like and subscribe my channel if you like my video. And also, you could leave a comment if you want to ask me more any information about it. And thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!